you know me and hard seltzers, we're not big friends. But hey, when uh, when Rouge River does a hard seltzer, definitely piques my interest quite a bit. This is not a beer review. No, it's not a beer review. This is something else for you. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, for another Ruski Brewski review, but this is not a Brewski that I'm reviewing, it is actually a hard seltzer from Rouge River Brewing Company here in Mark Montero. This is a, what's it called again? Boysenberry Hard Seltzer. Fruited Hard Seltzer, 5% alcohols by vo <clears throat> 5% alcohols by volume, 1 IBU apparently. I'm a little, I'm a little excited for this one. Um, I've, I've had a couple white claws, uh, two, actually three. The third one will be coming soon, but I've had one off camera, and they're, uh, they're, they're kind of uh, garbage, to be honest. White claws, yeah, no, not my thing, not my thing at all. But when I heard Rouge River was doing a hard seltzer, that kind of piqued my interest. Why, you may ask? Well, Rouge River brings out some damn fine beer, so. When I heard they were doing a seltzer, I got a little, I got a little, you know, curious to see what it's all about. And today we're gonna find out. So let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I think you're gonna be a little, little surprised at the color on this one. I've seen the Instagram posts. Just watch. Yes. It isn't, it isn't clear. There's color. There's a bit of life going on in here. It is a beautiful, like, ruby red, rose red, with a slightly pink head on top. Fantastic. That's a good sign already. That's a beautiful sign already. So this is just a hard seltzer. It's alcoholic water, alcoholic spicy water with boysenberry. But how does it smell and taste? I'm gonna find out. On the nose, there's not too much of an aroma, to be honest. A little bit of a boysenberry note, but not as much. A lot less compared to, say, a White Claw. But I guess when you're thinking about it, you're kind of just smelling water. But I think the taste is really where it's going to shine. Let's see. Okay. Okay. All right. Um... Where do I start? Uh, it's not medicinally, for one. Also, it's not as strong of a taste compared to the White Claws, the, the fruited notes out of it. It is fairly, fairly subtle, fairly subdued. Kinda, kinda disappointed on that end, but I guess if you're doing it right, it might just be a, a lot to really, to really do. I have no idea how a hard seltzer is actually made. It was very similar to regular brewing beer because there is no distillation at all. But yeah, very low on the flavors. Gotta learn more, guys. So cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Yeah, quite low, pretty tasteless, uh, to be completely honest. But I do like that there's no medicinally flavors going on in this. Not something that I would want to drink regularly to be completely honest with you guys but hey my curiosity was there and you know what kind of happy I tried it it's not bad it's not great it's just well it's 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 seltzer water with a little flavor goes down fairly smooth there's a little bit of a boysenberry flavor coming off it but not much not much really in your face it's it's more it's pretty um pretty flavorless to be completely honest, there, there is, like I said, that little bit of boysenberry, uh, boysenberry flavor to it, because they are using a puree rather than natural flavors, whatever that means. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't really know what to expect. It's good. It's not going to blow your mind by any means. Um, would I prefer this over a White Claw? Yes, any day of the week. But there's really not too much to say about it. It's, it's, it's boysenberry water. No feel on it is exactly what you'd think from a um, from a regular sparkling water or water. 
yeah, don't really know how to how to really get it a little bit more interesting. But yes, Rouge River Brewing Company Boysenberry Hard Seltzer. 5% alcohol is by volume, 1 IBUs apparently. On the bottom, we have a package on date of August 28th, 2020. Two days ago, as, a, as I'm recording this. Pretty straightforward, it looks like they've moved strictly over to cans from what I saw when I was at the brewery, which is really nice. The bottles were great, really do love the bottles. Hope they still keep some for maybe some specialty beers, but cans just make a lot more sense to me. Um, what else on the website? RougerBrewingCompany.com, you go to the beer on tap section, you can find the Boysenberry Hard Seltzer. Very simple description, hard seltzer with boysenberry puree. But I know if you go to the retail shop, I'm pretty sure there's some other information. Nope, not really. Very straightforward. ABV, IBU list, 5 and 1 respectively. Hard seltzer with boysenberry puree. Pretty straightforward. Serving size, you can pick them up in four, in tall cans for um, yeah, singles or four packs. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Is everything else in cans? Everything is in cans. They have finally moved over to 100% cans as of the moment right now that I see. Really can appreciate that. Very short, sweet, simple, good stuff. If you do go over to the shop page though, there is a longer description and it reads, this is a craft hard seltzer made with real fruit. We made this hard seltzer by fermenting dextrose, corn sugar, which is, which is corn sugar, and water along with almost 300 pounds of boysenberry puree. It is not a distilled product made with vodka or any other spirit. We typically use dextrose to boost the alcohol of higher ABV beers like double and triple IPAs, where in this seltzer, it is the entire sugar source. The seltzer finishes dry because all of the sugars are completely fermentable. Great stuff indeed. Again, you can get it in a single can or a four pack. We'll get the price in just a hot minute. But moving over to Untapped, it's been given a 4.08 bottle caps out of five. And that's out of 12 ratings. Then again, it just came out two days ago. So, you know, look forward to more ratings over on Untapped. Yeah, it's, it's real, it's true, no BS, no gimmicks, beautiful looking color. This is a Kraft Hard Seltzer, one that I'm proud to say I'm actually enjoying quite a bit. Definitely a lot more than those, uh, than those White Claw BS's. This is pretty damn good. Like I said, not as intense on the flavor, but there is no artificially flavoring stuff there's no uh, there's no medicinalness out of it it's water with a little bit of boysenberry flavor pure boysenberry flavor you can definitely get behind that over on the pricing for a single can it's going to be four dollars and 25 cents for the 473 ml can yes it's expensive but rouge river is still fairly new uh it's what two three years old now if i'm not mistaken somewhere around there and uh, they usually do only limited runs, so I can see why it's a little bit more expensive. Also, uh, here in Markham, rent is probably absolutely ridiculous. Um, but hey, you know what? I'm, I'm totally fine paying that uh, for something that, that's pretty damn good. Also, like I said, it comes in four packs, which is $15 flat. Easy, simple, you know, can't complain at all. Overall, a fairly good seltzer. Wish there was maybe a bit more uh, fruit flavor from it. I think 300 pounds, I, I have no idea if that's if it's a ton or a little or what, but I think even if, they've, if they up that, depending on the parameters of everything, like I said, I don't know how hard seltzers are actually made or how they make it, uh, comparable, comparing it to, say, beer. Um, but hey, the more the merrier. Definitely probably would bring up that flavor intensity a bit more, but for what it is, quite enjoyable. Quite enjoyable enjoyable as hard seltzers go. Hard seltzers, not my thing at all, but I really do like this and the color on it, fantastic. With that said guys, cheers on the final sip. Let's get ready to turn and wrap this thing up. Rouge River. Boysenberry hard seltzer. 
the best seltzer I've ever had. Um, clean, crisp, nice bit of boysenberry flavor going on in there. Not a lot, wish it was a bit more, but still some pretty damn good stuff and definitely gonna, 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 ref, uh, gonna be extremely refreshing on a hot summer's day or just whenever you're feeling a drink. <laughs> it's pretty, really do enjoy it. Overall, Boys and Berry Hard Seltzer, Rouge River Brewing Company gets a solid, ooh, gets a solid hmm, 7, 6 out of 10 for me. As for presentation, I'm really happy that they did switch to cans. Do love the little logos that they keep on doing. Good stuff, great that there's a clearly labeled canned on date on the bottom. But with the new, with the new uh, cans, you got a little bit of extra real estate here, maybe. Slap on a little, slap on the description, little sticker there. Just, 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 just a little, just a little added funness to the can design itself. But overall, fairly good stuff. Website always looking nice, very simple, very clean, but good information, especially when you move over to the shop page. You get a nice big long description, as well with your ABVs and IBUs. Pretty good stuff. No, no, no food pairings, no detailed list of malt hops and yeast. But then again, this doesn't really have the hops or, or, or malt really per se at all. So. I don't know why I brought that up as a thing, but hey, that's just that's just me talking about websites and designs and stuff and things like that. Stuff that I don't know about yet, because I do not know how to design a website. Now I'm just rambling. Overall, presentation gets a solid. Presentation gets a solid 7.5 out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or other hard seltzer, canned alcoholic beverages that you want me to review, leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Maple Bruce, it would be greatly appreciated as well. Now, with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Maple Bruce. Like I always say, crack a beer, in this case, hard seltzer, and enjoy. Cheers. Pouring up a beautiful looking hard seltzer. Hey, White Claw. Go fuck yourself, White Claw. <laughs>